Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be doing yet another unboxing video and before the unboxing video uh, of this great kit um, starts I would just like to say that this video will be split into two parts again first I'll be doing um, unboxing of this and then the something I want to talk about after the end of this video so yeah, without further ado now Let's get on to it. So this Sinanju, um, this Kao Kao Sinanju, um, have been have been in the scene for quite a long time. However, um, when I tried to get it, um, some of the stocks are really limited. Either that or it's overpriced. But then uh, another seller um kind of restock it, and so I I can't miss out the chance. And now I finally got it. So here it is. Um, there are also a couple of Kao Kao kits that I would want to get. First, of course, is the camphor and maybe the high V Evo for the high new Gundam. So, yeah, basically, I think these two kits left that I want to get from Kao Kao. Then, after that, I'm, I don't think I will be getting any more kits from Kao Kao that is. Oh, yeah, there's actually one more kit I want to get is sort of like the, the Samurai. I don't know, I forgot what is it called. Uh, Shingeki, I don't know what is it called. It's the, it's the Shogun Gundam with lots of samurai and then with the red color background at the back that's that so basically three kits that I want to get from Kao Kao so yeah now here is one of it which I already got so yep without further ado now let's proceed on so here of course we have the box art which is the same as the Verka version so yeah basically here Kao Kao here and now we take a look at the side here as usual is 100% copy from the Bandai version for the um, Verka version of the Sinanju so this one if I'm not mistaken you won't get the Mega Bazooka so yeah so I think that we need to get an expansion pack for it yep I'm right here are all the weapons here basically the Sinanju and then at the back here is just the same Sinanju so now the box art is done we shall move on and look at the parts so as usual the very first part that we will go through is here the sticker sheet that I always forget to show you guys so now I'll be showing you guys first um, this gold color part here I'm not sure whether I want to paint I want to paint or use the sticker but depends how is it maybe I will use the sticker if the sticker is really bad then I will consider painting it I have some marker pens if I'm not sure if I have it um, the last time I used is this marker pen on my high grade Sinanju I will show you guys upon the review so yeah I might use this metallic gold if not then I'll use the sticker so yep the first part of the sticker here is done now let's move on to all the parts so the first part here we have this yellow piece here this should be with all the this one all the legs and then with the body there so yep next here we shall first look at the red color of it um, I'm not sh I don't think you guys can really see but um, the red color is actually quite disappointing i would say um i'm not sure you guys can see like you can see the mark over here you can see like here the mark over here is very obvious and then at the back of course is the part here the hole over here then the front here is is really really obvious in my eyes i mean in camera over here it looks everything looks pretty normal but i can tell you it's not so I will consider um, painting it myself in the future so yeah again it's the same the red I'm not sure what it is but just doesn't look great but yeah like I said I am considering painting it I think put this this side I, I will I am considering painting it in the future since anyway this is Kao Kao kit if anything went wrong I can just get another one so now here we will look at the inner frame of it this should be the legs, especially these two. I think they give out a lot. Um, I don't think there's much to show you guys. Maybe here the legs, you guys want to take a look. So yeah, it's a very basic, basic inner frame. And here it is, another same one. So I will not waste time for it. And now here, this is the inner frame for the shoe. You guys can see. The inner frame um, at least looks great compared to the red color parts. So yeah here at least not that disappointing happy with that next year we have here a clear piece i'm not sure this of course here will be the body 
for the pilot so yeah a clear part over here nothing much to show next here um this i think is the back of the leg with the thrusters like two legs in front and then this would be at the back here so this should be it and then yeah again nothing much but yeah you guys can see there are some disproportion of the color but i can i can just tell you the color it doesn't look great so if you guys definitely considering um, buying the Gao Gao red color then I guess you guys should paint it yourself next stop here we have two of this effect part this of course will be used as the shield the effect part of the shield where he fought against unicorn so you have two of these again so yeah we don't waste time so here is another inner frame this is the rifle over here so maybe you guys want to see again nothing much to show you guys very just a simple gray color so here i would say come comes one of the important part here you guys can see the shield effect here there the rest at least the black color over here looks much better compared to the red so yeah at least it is um here is the here is the arm here the arm over here this part the arm over here then this part as well as part of the sleeve there so yeah next here another gray piece inner frame this this very obvious it would be the shoulder armor and then here of course is the x that will be put at the shield and yeah that's basically it again another inner frame and now here is another part which i don't know okay here is where you put your head this top half of the body and um, yeah nothing much to show you guys next here we have another red color piece this one this of course is the legs i've built the high grade so i kind of know already which part is which so yeah basically it's just like that um really nothing much to show you guys but i would just say um based on what i based on just what i see i think the most disappointing part would be the red color really other than that the inner frame everything actually looks really good so yeah that's that's that okay maybe here the head the side armor here and yeah then i think that's really it surprise oh yeah world car version doesn't give you the pilot right i don't have any i don't have any world car building experience before because i don't have the money to buy even one so based on this it's direct copy from bandai so i guess you don't get the pilot as well but yeah here is the two i don't know what you call this the tube i guess it's also part is the backpack of the sidanju again nothing much there's running out of space so i'll put it down here and here you have polycaps um let me try focus so yeah here are the polycaps over here you have two of the same one so don't know how it will looks like so yep here and yeah that's really basically basically it for all the parts that it comes with surprisingly um based on what i look it actually looks like gonna be a very s simple build i would i would say so yeah and next Verka maybe i'll get sasabi and sinanju stein maybe so yeah now all the parts is done we shall take a look at the manual so the manual at the front here of course Gao Gao Titi Hongli Si Nanju and if you guys are interested in what the Mandarin say here is called Sing An Zhou basically Sing is new An An is I guess safe Zhou is state so yeah if you translate it in English is new safe state it's kind of weird anyway now you can see here the Sinanju, the art as obviously they copy directly from Bandai and yeah I've forgotten the old Gao Gao um, booklet you will have English translated so maybe you guys want to pause and read a bit but I don't want to prolong the video much um, very long or else you guys wouldn't be interested but yeah if you guys really want to see I can take pictures of it and tell you guys but yeah now move on to the count parts we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 
fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. So twenty two parts is actually not a lot compared to Dragon Momoko, of course, but still um consider a lot. So yeah, now here of course the first part. Not sure if you guys want to see. So of course first part here is always the upper body of it. Then the next part here, here all the stickers, then all the head, and then the arms, top half of the body, almost done. Then we move on to the lower part of the body. And of all, I forgot to show you guys that in the sticker there, I saw there is two springs of it. I'm not sure where does it uh, applies to, but I can't wait to build that because it's the first time. Oh, here it is. Um, the spring will be used at the skirt armor over here. I, I remember there's two of it here. So yep, at the skirt armor here. So question answered right away. Then of course the legs here, then the backpack over here, then the weapons. Weapons, weapons. And then that's the end of it. Maybe you guys want to see here. So <clears throat> yeah, basically, and then wait here. You have some information over here of the Sinanju. So yeah, that's really basically it for this um really quick unboxing for this um Gao Gao Sinanju. So yeah, I mean that's basically it. If you guys are interested to what I will be talking about after this, so you guys can stay tuned. Or else I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys do have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below as your likes are very much appreciated. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe to me. So yeah, without further ado now, let's head on to the second part of the video. So um, what I'm going to talk about is of course the Dragon Momoko situation. Um, on recent days, I mean last week I posted the video so yeah okay I would say it's recent days. I have seen um, people who, I mean, or I would say sellers who own Dragon Momoko stocks, they are really increase, push up the price to the point where I think it's ridiculous. And if you guys know the Strike Noir, there is one comment who asked me that what key would I recommend? I would say the Strike Noir. And they have pushed the price to a point where the price is equivalent to a Master Grade Justice Gundam. Um, Bandai, that, that's the Bandai version, Bandai MG Justice and that's the price that you're going to pay to get the Strike Noir Dragon Momoko so I cannot imagine what about the Metal Beat version is it going to be as expensive as you're going to pay for um, Hyakushiki 2.0 or maybe even Sasabi price because I think, oh no, maybe it's not Sasabi price maybe that's a bit too much, maybe towards the extreme burst mode for the um, Destiny Gundam or even ex or maybe even extreme burst mode for the Strike Freedom I mean the price of these sellers push all the way up is really crazy I'm going to talk the monetary terms in terms of in RM Ringgit Malaysia previously the price for the Strike Noir in Ringgit Malaysia is 85 Ringgit that would be price of the I would say high grade, um, high grade unicorn, or more more or less around there, and now they have pushed the price for the strike Naruto to R Ringgit Malaysia hundred and eighty five. That is the price that I would pay to get the MG Justice or even the MG Freedom two point zero. That is the price that they've pushed up to the to that point, which I think is really ridiculous. I mean, if you were to push the strike Naruto price to maybe and maybe to Ringgit Malaysia 130 that is still acceptable that is still quite acceptable you are increasing the price by one and a half times but then you push it up is almost more almost more than double I think that is just ridiculous to be very honest with, with this kind of sellers but yeah nonetheless like I mentioned if you guys still haven't get the um, Dragon Momoko products I would recommend you guys to go and get it or else these sellers are just gonna push the price to point of no return or maybe you guys can all just don't buy at all since they push up the price so high we're just gonna not support them at all don't buy at all so let them push down the price but again like I say um, affordability and price are 
subjective to each individual so it's up to you to decide but for me as of right now i would not buy at all buy any dragon momoko product because they are these sellers are just ridiculous pushing up the price to this point i think that's just bullshit to be very fair but yeah i guess um that's really it my update on the pricing for dragon momoko products so again i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you guys do have enjoyed please do not forget to drop a like down below and oops i wanted to clap and say that um some of i've read one comment is asking me to build the avalanche xr uh, don't worry guys i will i am starting to build all my um, backlog on dragon momoko products i will be starting first on the death scythe hell tv version and I, after that i will move on to testament and then after that i will be moving on to the um if i'm not mistaken should the the normal xr and xr repair that comes first and last but not least is of course the avalanche xr so expect my next four videos would be in this order and of course if it's not in this order more maybe some other um figure figure reviews because it's this it's um, coming december i have a couple of figures coming in as well so i will be doing that review but other than that if you're expecting gunpla reviews from me this is the four orders death scythe testament xr xr repair and the xr 3 or something and then this one would be the last one would be avalanche xr i prefer to go in order because it's following my um, unboxing video if you guys see my upload date so yeah that's really it i've said i think i've covered everything that i want to say in this video so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video please do not forget to drop a like down below and if you guys are new around here as well please do not forget to subscribe to me because there will be more figure figure reviews there will be more gunpla unboxing and of course gunpla review be it original or bootleg um, both of which which i will cover so don't worry about that and yeah i hope you guys really have enjoyed this video and yeah that's really it and i'll see you guys real soon in another video of mine and last but not least i hope all of you have a really good day ahead okay.